Most stores are going to be just fine with the standard tax rates, but some stores sell products with additional taxes. Products like alcohol and cigarettes, at least here in the US, have special tax rates that you'll need to be aware of. So again, you'll need to check what your products are and where you're selling them in order to make sure you get all of this right. You can create special tax classes for products like those and tax those products at a higher rate than your other products. Let's go ahead and add an additional tax rate. Heading back over to tax options, you'll come down here to additional tax classes and you'll note that there's one per line. And so all we have to do is type a new line in. We'll call that alcohol rate since that's the example we're using. Click Save Changes. And now here at the top, you'll see Alcohol Rate Rates. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now it's the same process. You can add the alcohol rates for all of the areas where you need to charge taxes or where you're selling and shipping alcohol. You can also charge different kinds of tax on an individual product. Let's head back over to Products. And let's click on our stylish abstract purple desktop wallpaper. Go ahead and click Edit. And if we scroll down, you can see that you can update the tax status and class here. A wallpaper doesn't need to be taxed, so this tax status is none, and we'll give it a zero rate. So technically, I didn't need to do that second piece, but we'll do it anyway. Go ahead and click Update. And now when that product is in my shopping cart, there is no tax applied. Once again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure you're checking with a tax professional as you're setting up all of these rates. It's the most complex part of any e-commerce store. And if you don't want to get in trouble with the government, well, I suggest you pay close attention to this part.